All right, guys, I'm going to try to record this before uh, the Bungie servers literally crash on me. So, with the new patch, the moon weapons have been uh, re-unsunset. Okay, that's not what they actually call it, but I'm sticking with it. So, I'm, I'm sure some people will be wondering, how do you farm these, or how do you farm these in an optimal fashion? So, I'm going to show you. As you saw, I had mine finished. I'm just going to... Okay, well, this is the Bungie server thing I was talking about. So once you have unlocked them and they're in this pool, what you can do is buy them for uh, Phantasmal Cores. If you don't have Phantasmal Cores, you get them from Phantasmal Fragments. So you would get, I believe, 20 Fragments. Yes, 20 Fragments. Get a Core, then use the Core to get one of these Essences. If you don't have that, that's fine. You can also use Helium Filaments to get Fragments, and then the Fragments turn into Cores. And the same process basically happens. So what I would do if you're trying to farm multiple weapons and you have the materials for it, is load up on whatever weapons you want. So, for example, I'm going to load up on the shoddy, the SMG, the hand cannon, and let's, let's go for the AR. So, they're all going to be in your inventory. You can only hold one of each at a, at a time. And as you can see, it says activities, 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 and then super. Super is, well, I mean, that's obvious. Just put on a super. So, let's say bottom tree striker, um, chaos reach, and uh, Arc Strider with Raiden Flux. And then just leave that alone. And then for these, you need SMG kills, AR kills, and Ganon kills. So you bring literally anything you want in terms of that. You could pull out any gun from your collections that you can pull. Any AR, any tank cannon, any yada yada, etc, etc. Whatever you're doing. And then what you're going to do is simply just go to the right over here. I believe this is Anchor of Light on the moon map. And you're going to go into the K1, I want to say, Communications. Lost Sector. Where, where's this little dot? Yep, K1 Communion. And inside of here is basically just maybe 100 Fallen, maybe even more than 100. That gives you basically all the time you need and all the enemies you need to get that portion of the quest done. For the Activities part, what you can do is complete a Lost Sector in there, which will give you 18%. Outside of that, you can also put on the perk on your ghost to find a chest. So, for example, I have XP on, but you could make this higher for 5. I don't think you need to go higher than 4, though. And it lets you detect a cache 50, uh, sorry, 50 meters within range. So you combine that with patrols. Both give you 4% uh, on each completion. And you pick up this patrol, which is just a generic kill bounty. And then you obviously use your weapon to kill them that you're doing for the quest. So, for example, SMG. And once you've killed all the enemies and gotten the patrol done, then it'll free up the other patrol on this map, which will be over here. It's Tolan. And for Tolan, for those that don't know, it's quite literally, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds of your time to complete that patrol. It's extremely easy. You can repeat it what feels like nonstop. Uh, and that's a free 4% each time, but then also while you're doing it and you're just going around in a circle on this area You can also pick up chests, uh, pick up helium that you see on the ground And each of that gives you 2 to 4% chest there. Talk to Toland, assuming the game will actually let me He's gonna talk for a little bit, say some nonsense I'm gonna go pick up this chest and this helium while I'm at it And then there's a location for you to go over there like as you can see it's literally like five feet in front of me I I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. Sometimes you gotta walk a little further, but either way, it's like I said, maybe 20 seconds of your time. So let me just go talk to him real quick. And then it's been a couple of minutes. Let's see what my progress is so far. All right. So we've amounted 23 SMG kills, and we've gotten 26% on activities. And all I've done is two super easy patrols and a couple of kills and a couple of chests. And then you can go in the Lost Sector, like I said, get all your kills done, your super kills, your uh, percentage from the Lost Sector, which would be 18, I believe. And then if you want, get the rest of the gun kills there, too, as well. Poland, as I mentioned, will keep respawning. So you can basically abuse this, uh, get it done super, super quick if you're farming for any of the new rolls for the moon weapons. Here's another example of uh, where Tolan takes you. Again, really, really short, really simple. 
And that's about it. You can do this for any of the moon weapons outside of the GL, I believe, which requires you to go to a strike to get the kills for that one. But the rest are just straight up on the moon. Super, super quick. And uh, that's about it. Alright. If this helps, uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash